everyone, it's Fantasia and welcome back to another mod review. So this one is really realistic. I was honestly blown away when I read everything about it and I do want to give a shout out to a deep indigo. That is who the mod is by and I just want to thank them for making me aware of this mod. I had no idea so thank you so much. I appreciate it. So this mod is called Divergent Sims and I do just want to give a disclaimer. So this could be triggering for some of you guys or some of you guys might feel like you relate to it. So in my sense, I feel like realistic mods like this, I just feel like it's very relatable for me so I enjoy them but everyone's different you might not want this sort of thing in your game so just to kind of like give a little summary this mod does focus on different anxiety conditions developmental learning mood neurological personality body eating mental health conditions all sorts of things and this can start at the youngest age of infants and then it can go all the way up to elders so this covers a very wide range of sims and things have already started happening in my game and I've barely jumped into it so we're gonna start you know talking about the little things that have popped up already and then I'm gonna pull you guys over to patreon and read you guys everything about this mod so first let's do our notification shout out and this one goes to night sparkle honestly I hope so too if we get preteens oh my goodness I don't know the fact that we got infants makes me hopeful that we will get more life stages I personally think it would be cool I think they could do a lot with them honestly like they did a lot with infants that we wouldn't even have expected and they did hire the person who made the preteen mod so that makes me think we are even more likely to get them eventually especially because they keep saying the sims 4 still has like so much to come so I guess we'll see but anyways let's get into this so you can see our little infant was just being so adorable and actually some stuff popped up for her already so as soon as you start up your game you're gonna kind of get some pop-ups straight away if it's the first time you've loaded this mod so you can see here our infant got this notification and it says Lakeland is neurodivergent that means that this sims brain functions differently than most other sims of the same age guys I find this so interesting like I would have never expected a mod like this like I've downloaded mental health mods but nothing this in depth as soon as I started the game and obviously there's way more to it and then we also got a pop-up for the father and he is also neurodivergent so same thing there's also a whole self-esteem system so it looks like Raiden has normal self-esteem a sim self-esteem is important to his overall mental and physical emotional well-being it also plays a large role in a sim's self-image or how a sim sees themselves Raiden's self-esteem is normal and variable. He has a healthy and normative level of natural confidence. While Raiden's self-image is generally positive, it is variable and vulnerable to external forces. It won't take as much to waver as it would for someone with higher self-esteem. Self-esteem can be built by building up confidence, exercising, and engaging in wellness activities, self-help activities, and therapy. So yes, this mod does include therapy and everything. You can see a psychiatrist so yeah there's so much to it and then you can see here two pop-ups for both our adult sims Renly seems to be struggling lately maybe it's worth looking into and consulting with a psychiatrist for an evaluation and then the exact same thing for Raiden and then Renly also got the normal self-esteem so as for Renly though she got neurotypical that means that the sims brain functions similarly to most other sims of the same age so we have some differences there so we're gonna go ahead and just dive into to this but first I want to pull up the patreon page just to kind of quickly go over it okay so here it is here like I said this mod is by a deep indigo and I'm gonna have the download link down below okay so it kind of explains here that this one based on a patreon poll which is pretty cool so this is a brand new cohesive comprehensive modular mod that focuses on neurodiversity self-esteem mental health evaluation and treatment this includes a detailed variety of 25 anxiety developmental learning mood neurological personality body eating and mental health conditions affecting infants to elders. While there are many traits and smaller mods which cover various individual aspects of this mod, I wanted it to be intentional in making something that was in-depth, inclusive, and comprehensive while also being configurable for different players and their play styles. I love this. There is also a disclaimer, so this is not meant to be 100% accurate representation. I feel like that's a given. This is a game, so we have to keep that in mind. So then there's like a little rundown of how this works. I'm just going to kind of skim through this with you guys because we are going to play in game but obviously I'm not gonna be able to show you guys everything because of course with this type of mod some things will happen gradually but I'll show you guys what I can so this is talking about how you trigger the mod note that nothing automatically happens with this mod unless one of the five things you install disorder auto assignments to give all your sims in your current household infant and older a chance for aspects of installed modules automatically assigned to them or you can use the randomly assign any disorder or condition or 
are randomly assigned options in Divergent Sims menu under the actions or randomly assign an individual sim, infant, and older aspects of installed modules. Or your sim aged up in game and the aged up sim in the active household infant through a young adult has a chance to be randomly assigned aspects of installed modules or you manually assign specific disorders to individual sims from installed modules via the divergent sims menu under actions. You can send your sim to the psychiatrist where there's a very small chance your sim will be randomly assigned aspects of installed modules and diagnosed. So that was a lot to take in, but as you guys can see, you know, you're not going to have all these things happening out of nowhere unless one of these five things <laughs> happens. So just keep that in mind. So as we already saw in game, all sims will roll their self-esteem and their neurodiversity, and then auto assignment of disorders and conditions. If any of the below optional modules are installed, there's a small and random chance that depending on self-esteem and neurodiversity, a sim, infant to young adult, can roll one of the disorders or conditions below. Okay, so as we know, the aging up trigger chance, so babies who are aging up to infants have a chance. So as infants and toddlers, they can have have one of the delays which stays with them through those two ages. Even if they do not have delays, neurodivergent infants and toddlers can still struggle socially, emotionally, or behaviorally. Those delays or struggles can translate into a learning difficulty or neurological condition if installed. As they age into a child, otherwise when they age up, the delay goes away but they remain neurodivergent and can still struggle. If they did not have a struggle or delay as an infant or toddler, they can still, upon aging up to a child or teen, develop a neurological condition, learning difficulty, or mental anxiety, personality, or mood disorder later in life. I really like that. Also, if a sim is neurotypical, which one of our sims are, this does not mean they're immune from anxiety, body, eating, mental, mood, and personality disorders in the future. So that could still happen to them. Also, sims teen and above have a chance due to traumatic life event to develop PTSD. Multiple conditions, sims with certain conditions are more likely to develop others. Therefore, child and teen sims may, even when not aging up, trigger another condition. This happens most with sims who have body or personality disorders or neurological conditions as they tend to lead to additional diagnosis of other learning difficulties. That makes sense. Evaluation and diagnosis. So there is an option for youth development services. So we'll explore that if we're able to. And then parents and caregivers can have their infants, toddlers, and children and teens evaluated by a child psychiatrist to receive a definitive diagnosis and can seek treatment options if they choose. So you can see here we're probably going to see this actually and you can choose if you want the treatments or not so this is really cool and then here's an adult sim so you can see here that she was diagnosed with neurological disorder autism spectrum disorder this is very in-depth and detailed you guys so you can get therapy treatments and medication or you can just do therapy treatments whatever you want to do or like yes just medication and then you'll get pop-ups here the psychiatrist has recommended play therapy as a treatment option sign up for additional support services behavioral therapy occupational therapy, talk therapy. There's so much to this, you guys. So, of course, you can read all into this. There is so much. There's body and eating disorders. There's anxiety disorders. This one's teen and, and above. So is this one. As we know, the developmental delays are from infant and toddlers. There can be speech and language delay, general struggles, motor delay, learning difficulties, child and above. There's all sorts of things here. They can have dyslexia. There's autism here as we went over above. And then there is post-traumatic stress disorder. There's a schizophrenia disorder, mental disorders, so this is teen and above, this is teen and above. So you can have bipolar disorder, clinical depression, seasonal affective disorder. There's also personality disorder, borderline personality. There is so much to this, you guys. So if you want to read this completely through, go ahead and do so. But we're going to go ahead and jump in a game and get into this because this was really long. Okay, so as we know, our little infant here is neurodivergent. So we can kind of start with her, I think. We're going to go ahead and actually, well, first, I think we we can click on her as well. Yes. So early childhood development services. So initial psychiatrist consultation. So you actually have to click on your infant and then you can go ahead and choose whoever is going to go with them. And then they just instantly disappear immediately. Um, but she's going to like go. So, you know, the infant just disappears because she's kind of stuck in the crib there. So we're going to see what happens. Um, so that's what I wanted to do first. And then we're going to have them take a 
PTO so we can just kind of explore this. So for him, it says Raiden seems to be struggling. Maybe it's worth looking into consulting with a psychiatrist. So again, for him, we can click on him as well and go to mental health services. And then we can do psychiatric evaluation, initial ther uh, therapist consultation. This is 300. This is 500. And then here, there's also an online pharmacy. You can also go to a support group and you can go to a support group with others. I love this. So they are recommending that we do this one. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It's pretty pricey. I feel like that's pretty realistic to be honest. Okay. So she had her consultation. Lakeland's appointment with the psychiatrist went just fine. This sim can continue to see the psychiatrist, but currently upon evaluation, the psychiatrist discovered no undiagnosed disorders or conditions. Therapy might be a better option should there be mental health concerns they may have. Okay, that's cool. So we have nothing to worry about for little Lakeland. And then she just instantly is back in her crib as soon as they get home. So I think we'll also go ahead and send her as well. So let's go ahead and go to mental health services and then go to the evaluation. Okay, so we have a diagnosis and treatment options. Upon evaluation, Raiden has been diagnosed with personality disorder, paranoid personality disorder. Sims with this disorder experience heightened paranoia and are constantly guarded and suspicious, hindering their ability to form close relationships. He will need to learn to manage stress through exercise or meditation as well as healthy eating. Regular therapy sessions are highly recommended. The psychiatrist presented the two options of medication. Is that something he is interested in? So I think we're gonna go ahead and do the therapy and medication so let's do that Ooh, okay so upon evaluation renly has been diagnosed with anxiety disorder obsessive compulsive disorder sims with this disorder experience anxiety which leads to obsessions which leads to strong compulsions she will need to learn to manage stress through exercise and meditation as well as healthy eating regular therapy sessions okay so this is kind of the same thing at the end so again i think we're going to do therapy treatments and medication just to kind of experience that oh okay so it actually lets you know that treatments don't work for everyone. And like it asks you if you're sure if you want to pursue with this medication. Okay. And then same thing for you. That's actually really cool. The psychiatrist has recommended talk therapy as treatment option for Raiden. Talk therapy is a widely accepted effective treatment method for a variety of conditions and disorders. It has helped millions of Sims and can be especially effective when paired with medication, but also effective on its own. Okay. So same thing for Renly also was recommended talk therapy. So I guess we're going to go ahead and do that so we have a prescription for an antidepressant medication and then she will need to refill it at the pharmacy all right so you've also got the antidepressant medication and then also prescription for a mood stabilizer so she's currently worried right now, but other than that, it doesn't look like she's experiencing anything else. I feel bad that she's worried. Oh, so um, it looks like we have to actually fill that at the pharmacy. So then we're going to go ahead and go to mental health services and you can go to online pharmacy and then we can go ahead and get this. So we're just going to get one. And then as for you, so what I like is that it just shows the one you need. So you're not like confused or anything. So here, like he needed two of them. So we're going to go ahead and get them both and then let's have them take their medication and then we'll kind of see what happens there so once you take it oh my goodness she is panicked <gasps> okay so this is from the mod rising anxiety from obsessive compulsive disorder Brinley tried to let it go but just can't what if the germs multiply what if they're already airborne what if there's mold lurking around what if what if oh my god wait so he like didn't feel anything yet honestly maybe i should have waited to see if he was gonna feel something however the medication obviously you have to keep taking it so if i just have him not take it again he'll probably start getting some moodlets so maybe we'll do that he has holding steady from antidepressant medication the negative feelings haven't magically gone away but the medication does help to balance raiden's emotions a bit better that's better than nothing right so this one is the mood stabilizer raiden can feel the medication working helping to bring a bit more stability and control over his emotions so she should start to feel better. Yes. So the negative feelings having a magic. Okay. This is the same thing. Oh, we have bills to pay. That's going to make her more panicked. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and pay those. Okay. So now that we've kind of figured that out, I think because she's feeling panicked, let's go ahead and go to mental health services again. And I think, oh, we actually can't do talk therapy yet. It's too early. We can go to family support therapy, which is nice, but I think we're going to wait for the talk therapy and see what happens there. But we can also do initial therapist consultation. Should we do that? Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, let's kind of experience that. So um, it looks like Raiden's son's here, which I feel like you definitely need to chat with him. Oh, we also have... Oh, guys. Oh, my gosh. It went away. Okay. 
pause that if you guys can because I did put it up for a second there but he was feeling paranoia oh my gosh okay so yeah a lot of stuff goes on but I think because he has the medication it's just like not lasting that long let's give our baby some attention oh let's go ahead and do activities and let's watch Lakeland no wait I want to like let you out though okay let's do should we feed you yeah let's do some foods in the high chair are we feeling smart oh my gosh guys 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 okay so what are they talking about from paranoid personality disorder Brayden doesn't like being around others that are whispering what are they talking about are they talking about me? Then we also have, wait, is this from the mod? It's not usually like this from having visitors over while the house is dirty or filthy. I'm not sure he's paranoid. So then I think it is. Brayden has visitors and the place is a mess. He explained that they just happened to come in between cleanings and the guests nodded politely, but somehow Brayden still feels judged. I've never seen that before. So I think it is from the mod. Yeah, I've never gotten this before. Everything feels a bit dirty from being in a dirty area. Brayden can't touch anything around him without encountering a layer of dust it's getting harder to ignore the buildup things are getting dusty crusty and musty even the air feels heavier with undesirable particles it will be harder to cook or be productive in these surroundings but non-fussy sims who prefer not to clean could certainly learn to get comfortable after all it could certainly be worse oh my god so we definitely need to clean the house i guess we want to try to get to our baby, but you're kind of in the way, dude. Okay, does Renly wish to continue with therapy? If so, she will become a patient of their therapist and can continue to book individually and group therapy sessions. They will continue for as long as the sim is legible. Yes. Okay, so Renly is back from therapy and she's satisfied. Thoughtful therapy. Renly's initial session was really helpful and she feels a lot better and wants to come back for more sessions. So, did it say it opened at 2 p.m. or 1 p.m.? I don't even know now. Oh, I don't know why this looks like this. That's interesting. But we can go to the family support one. This option is not currently available. Try again soon. Okay, we'll just wait. Was it two? Maybe it was. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to kind of wait. Um, Little one is sleeping, but I might wake her up. Oh, productive. Oh, from condition positivity upswing. Renly is feeling inspired and focused. A great combination to get some things accomplished. Okay, we love this. So I think she's going to get some cooking done then. So we're going to go ahead and we'll kind of just see how that makes her feel. So let's make some food for the family. Let's make some vegetable dumplings. We're going to do a family size. So she's going to get that going. And then he is feeling very like paranoid about the dirt and stuff. So I guess we'll kind of get that cleaned up. Oh my gosh, we got another thing. Ready, set, goal. Renly is feeling inspired and focused. A great combination to get some things accomplished. Okay, so I love this. This is like super... Oh wait, she didn't even like... She's like, I'm gonna eat. <laughs> So now that he's cleaned up, he is feeling better. So we love that for him. So we have another one here in my own little corner from Paranoid Personality Disorder. If Raiden just avoids everyone, maybe it'll be easier. Oh, my heart. I don't know if swimming and stuff like that will do anything for him, but he is, he is feeling playful. So I'm going to have him go swimming and we'll just kind of see. Other than that, not much is happening right now. I don't want to have them take their medication because I just want to kind of wait and see I don't think we're going to notice much with the infant. Like, I think we'll definitely have to, like, wait. I'm not going to worry too much about the infant. And then, of course, there's many other things, like, to explore with self-esteem and all that. Like, if you have different age groups, like, teens and stuff in your household, there's going to be, like, so much more to this. But the fact that I've barely been playing and I just feel like quite a bit happened is pretty cool. Oh, we still can't go to therapy now. It's too late again. We'll just wait. I'll go ahead and continue um, so that, you know, they can actually get to a therapy session because I feel like that would be helpful. Oh, you guys, I put them to bed, but there's another thing here. Cleaning impulse from obsessive compulsive disorder. The compulsion you give into the frenzy to clean was too much for Renly. Must clean and must do it herself. So I guess she was cleaning when I wasn't paying attention. So this will kind of like, you know, your sims will start to do things that they usually wouldn't do. So Raiden is awake for the day and it says here, tick tock, tick tock from paranoid personality disorder. Raiden is just so bored. It's like time is moving so slowly. Why can't he get into anything? Also sleepless from antidepressant medication side effect. Raiden feels restless and wired. Not exactly a winning recipe for peace and slumber. Oh my god. So he, yeah, he woke up before he was fully energized. Oh, that's so cool, guys. We're gonna try to cure his boredom with some, I don't know, 
something on the TV. <laughs> so we're going to do that for him. And then I want to get her up to kind of, oh, no, wait, look, um, hungerless. This is also a side effect from the antidepressant. Renly is hardly hungry, not really feeling up to her usual, usual appetites. We're going to get her up and just kind of see. Okay, so she's not feeling anything else currently, but guys, I feel like so much happens with this mod. Like this is, I don't know, I think it's so cool. If you guys like realism, I think you're gonna like this. It's represented in a very realistic way and also has a lot of positive aspects to it. You know, I feel like this is not like negatively affecting my gameplay or like making it like a downer because there's options for your sims to do. You can do things to make them feel better. I don't know, to me that this is like promoting like you know, it's going to make me want to have my Sims do things to make them happier and make them, you know, feel better about whatever they're going through. So I really like this. Why do I feel like it will motivate my own self to better my own mental health? Like, cause you know, it'll like remind me like when my Sims are going through things and you know, I'm like having them work out and eat healthier. Um, so I love this. I think it's amazing. And obviously there's way, way more to it. Like this is just the beginning of it. So this is really cool. I, I think this will just add a lot to your gameplay, you guys. Like if you, you know what, I'm just going to kind of let this play through. So yeah, if you're a realism player, I think you're going to enjoy this. And like I said, it will be linked down below. Honestly, go give a deep indigo some love because what the heck, this is amazing. This is like so detailed and so fleshed out. But with that said, you guys, I'm going to wrap this up here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye guys.